Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. Today's Thursday, June 3rd. And uh, it's getting humid and unsettled. I just had a shower, so it's probably not the best time to go into the hive. But um, what I was thinking is if the queen, the marked queen, my Saskatraz queen is still in here, take her out and put her into this uh, converted uh, eight frame box cut down from a 10. And I put a queen excluder on the bottom and I filled this up with frames. Um, I think it's gonna bottom out, but um, I originally was thinking of putting a ledge from one side to another, but then it wouldn't allow me to put in frames. So I'm just gonna sandwich the frames in between here and uh, trap the queen if she's still here because I'm gonna lose her anyways to a swarm um, if I haven't already. So let me go in and see if I can find her and just pop her into this box and uh, call it a day. Um, so those queen cells should be capped and hopefully they haven't swarmed. Okay everyone, so I've gone to frame eight and these two queen cells here are capped. And there is another one, um, well, on the other side. And in the process of, it's uh, extended so it looks like it's getting close to being capped. But there's those two there. And this hive is just packed with drones. And it looks like they're backfilling. I mean, there's just nectar. Um where the, the bees haven't hatched, but it's just, I'm just looking on this frame here, there's gotta be, just on this one side, I don't know, a dozen? So, and then there are uh, the cap drones too. So yeah, in addition to having to, I should ha I need to harvest the honey out of this. It looks like, you know, eight days from now. Well, I don't know when that was finished capping. You can see they're all hovering over those, attending to them. So this is frame seven and I found another capped. Looks like it's capped. Yep, another capped queen cell right there. So, hmm. And again, there's all it's all nectar in the open cells. Now I did put in, I didn't have a chance to make some more frames, but I did put in another wax foundation. So I think it was number two maybe. Let's see what they've done with that. But yeah, I don't know if you can see the bees attending to that. Uh, and it's windy. And I got shorts on and it's overcast. Not a good combination. And it's raining. Maybe the queen already left. I mean, I seem to have a lot of bees. So here is the wax foundation that's already been drawn out. Um, well, they're already drawing it out. So the cells are deeper. There's even drones on this. Well, I'm to frame three, and it's just backfilled with honey again. But there is a lot of cap brood on this, but guess what? There's more queen cells. So, wow. She probably already left. I think there's two queen cells. One, two, three. There's I think there's three. Two capped. Looks like maybe, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, here comes the sun, yeah. Right there. All right, everyone, so unfortunately, I think she already left. Even though the bees are kind of calm, um, I did get stung twice in the leg. And uh, 
So I think I'm going to take this frame here and put it into my eight frame box that has a, a queen cell on it and I might take another one. But this other frame here that has two, I think it's this one right here. I'll leave that in. Um, maybe that's why they're calm is that they know they have a backup, but yeah, this is a good example of what it looks like when everything is honey bound. Uh, everything is being backfilled as soon as it hatches with nectar. And uh, yeah, so the Saskatraz queen has left the building. I guess I don't need this queen excluder. That would not be smart. She wouldn't be able to leave. So I'll take this out. So I'll put that frame in there and then Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put two frames in there. Then shake some bees in, I guess. So we'll put this in. Oh. What was I thinking? They're just going to lie this down in here, I guess. Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to lay it down in there and bottom, it sits on the bottom and maybe I'll put one frame next to it, keep that in place, move the other one down, move this down below, Get this frame with a lot of nectar on it and Paul it's got pollen this is actually just lucked out that's a good frame so put this in I don't know if I should shake some bees in there. Well, this always looks fun when I see it on YouTube videos. All right, everyone, this is not going to be pretty, but I'm just putting one lens frame in here um, with the queen cell on it and this nuke with a deep and a medium. I'll shake some bees in there. Now, what would be funny is if I came across that queen but I'm pretty sure she has left and uh, huh. Any queen cells on this I don't want to shake it I don't see anything
I wonder if I should just, uh, well, let me shake it. It's always a good visual. Nuts, I found a queen cell. Another one. Well, oh, that's not good. It's one right there. Let me go ahead and put the top on lid on this one top cover all right everyone so I took that uh, cell that I shook and put it in the 10 frame here. Um, I might have another one. What I did over here, the third one is the frame that has two cells on it. This has a cell in it, and I got the eight frame. That has a cell in it, or two, I think. Um, I'd like to put another frame in the 10 frame since I think I damaged that that queen let's see see if I can find something else uh, I guess I got some nurse bees down here so I put the frame down here and get them to get on the frame shake them into one of these boxes all right so this isn't ideal but I don't know if you can see. Oh, I'm gonna get no. That's a a drone on my leg. There's one right there. I didn't think I had another one. So this is just packed. The queen left. Uh, I wish I had kept her. Just uh, wishful thinking that it wouldn't be leaving. So at least I got a good time frame. I guess you gain from experience when to expect the queen to leave. I was wondering, so soon after, I don't know how many days passed, had the Memorial Weekend. Let's see, we well, had rain, so I didn't think she'd be leaving. Didn't notice by accident, so. Would have had a surveillance camera on if I wanted to, or just set up a chair outside the hive, or be proactive and move her before. So the other frame there, I think I might have to remove and then put this one in. Is this going to get damaged? No, that's, that's far enough out. All right, everyone, so I'm pretty sure that the queen left and the bees did exactly what they always do, no matter how much wishful thinking or procrastination you do, um, if you're not proactive and, uh, you know, take care of that uh, with the queen cells and the honey bound and um, you know, there's no new larva and tons of drones and tons of queen cells. I think that was a clue. So anyways, uh, potentially I have three new hives. Uh, we'll find out who oh, this bee is really going after me here. But uh, yeah, we'll find out cover these up. I've got a nuke, an 8 frame, and a 10 frame, and of course the lands. Close it up. Now there's a frame of honey that I need to to extract and also make up some new frames, so let's close this up. Well, this is New England Gardening, and let's see. Come back here in over a week. I think some of them, I think, yeah, all of them I might 
all of them were capped, I think. I think each one has a capped cell. But uh, we'll find out, see the activity. There's not much activity. The eight frame, the bees are coming out of the top there. But I think a lot of those field workers are going to go back. So I have potential for gaining some hives. And I also have potential for completely losing uh, all these hives. Because I'm queenless right now. Um, and they have to go out and mate. And successfully come back into the right hive. So uh, I try to change some of the tape up on, on these course there's the yellow one uh, we paint some flowers on the lane side there or some scene or just some splotches of paint go with an abstract theme but yeah um, the only thing is I can't control the temperament of the V's now so let's see what happens yeah, so just to reiterate if you have queen cells, even if they're not capped, um, and you're honey bound, definitely good indication. You want to take that queen out and do a split so you don't lose her. So I'm going to lose honey production, although it's not like I'm um, harvesting honey anyways or extracting honey have to get some of those uh, fine mesh filters or cheesecloth in the bucket and do some extracting but yeah see what happens uh, these show some interest in me because I've got two stings in the leg and off camera I get stung wasn't certain it's funny because I wasn't certain I was getting stung I thought maybe it was just uh, a twig or something but I almost got stung in the cojones went up my short uh, shorts leg and got stung pretty close so this is the wing of gardening I guess the rain's going to hold off and I'm curious to see what happens be the first time the first experience at least with queens hatching and uh, piping is the word that I couldn't remember um, so a couple of these have two cells um, actually, I think each one of these might have two cells. I know the uh, 10 frame has this cell that I shook uh, in addition to another cell un unshook. So, this is a new garden. Thanks for watching.